Hello, Jumbo viewers. This is Abindian, welcoming you back to This is the Police 2 and November 22nd. Um, to begin with, let me apologize a little bit for the length of the first episode, especially how little gameplay there was. Um, hopefully, we're about through with the tutorial bit and we'll get into the more consistent gameplay. Um, so let's continue. Any other questions? So how long have you been working undercover? Since February. So you're like, you're like our new sheriff now, huh? Mr. Nash will partly take over management of the department. Some of you will now be his subordinates. Bad news, Cliff. I'm still the sheriff. Suck it, Cliff. Well, if you understand everything and there's no more questions, then let's... Uh, oh, oh, wait, I have a question. Now, when are we going to take that thing down? I meant questions for Mr. Nash. Oh, then I have a question for Mr. Nash. Mr. Nash, when are we going to take that thing down? When are we taking that thing down? We're not taking it down. Sorry, bud. Looks like it's staying up. That's enough. Everybody back to work. <laughs> that was pretty good. I like it. I really do like the animations. What the hell is it? It was Sheriff Wells who hung that tapestry here. He said that... He said he made me his first deputy because I was the only one who understood what it says. Well, now there's two of us. What? Oh, okay. I see. You know what? He kind of sucks. Like, he's real bad. So yeah, let's go ahead and send him to Lily. Uh, opinion about me and my methods. My more dedicated employees won't refuse to work overtime. We'll even help you with your off-the-books assignments. But you can't expect much of anything from cops who don't like you. Well, he sucks. So I don't care. Mr. Ashton's glad to be on your team. Follow him and get down and do some new shot of a leader. Man, come on. Lily seemed like she was trying. I need to go with the guys for my funk band ripped into a guitar specialist. We can't cancel. I'll go quickly and tomorrow I'll be the first one through the door. Leaving the station on any task requires the cop's energy. When exhausted, limit a cop my shop for work or fall asleep at the wheel and get into an accident. Okay. Cops are people too. And some of them, for one reason or another, abuse alcohol. Most of them will have a drink or two the situation calls for it. But some are such inveterate alcoholics who always show up drunk to their shift, and their performance at work is much worse than everyone else's, yet they even manage to get to the job in the first place. Cops curves to determine how effective and useful they'll be in a given situation. Carry several items of equipment. The only items that every cop always carries are revolver and knife, and they return to the department the shift ends. So here's today's shift. Oh. Oh, it's just telling me to click continue. So let's see what we got here. We've got Maradian, who's kind of smart, kind of stealthy, but otherwise sucks, with only pressure level 15. Mustard, good at shooting, decent at intelligence. Rosencrantz, oh dear. With uh, two in intelligence, good strength, good speed, good stealth, good negotiation. Looks like he's got... Is one like a flashbang and one like a smoke grenade, maybe? We've got Belmont, who's a really good shooter, but is apparently missing an eye. How does that, how the hell does that work? A uh, little bit of intelligence. Flower Pots is real good all at everything but shooting. And Birch at third is real smart. Tears is expended. Okay. All right. So you're going to be going into shooting. Oh, I see. It's a taser cartridge. Okay. Let's give him a taser. 
two taser cartridges, and the baton. Oh, you don't like batons. Okay. I guess let's give you another taser cartridge in. Sure. Um, who else is really good at shooting? Because we'll probably want them to be in combat quite a bit. You've already got a baton. Maybe give you a stun grenade. Anyone else even marginally good at shooting? No, it's really just the two. Okay. Oh, I see when you click on a cop, it puts everything back. Okay. Oh, this is pepper spray. Okay. Let's give you a baton. Let's go to flower pots, give her a taser, and a couple of stun grenades. I think that's fair. Five sixteen in progress. Urgent calls are time sensitive. You need to send your cops out before the timer expires. Okay, disorderly conduct. Five sixteen. A drunken worker parked his truck sideways, blocking several cars. You order the dugs beneath him to shut their yaps. So we need to send at least three hundred professionalism worth of people. So let's send Spurlock and Muzika. I think that's reasonable. I don't think we need to send a whole lot more than that. Because right now he's just drunk. Let's send people out. What does this mean? Oh, personnel. Okay. Oh, okay. Cool. Cool. I guess I should have actually looked at everything last time. I didn't realize there was more people there. I seen they just telling me to push the continue button. 28,000? Okay. I wonder what's on that sandwich. I don't know that I want to know. I mean, I guess that's tomato and cheese. They can do that. Due to decisions are on my shoulders. How to choose the cop that's most suitable. Okay. We can drive in with a police car. Or we could tell him there's a fire, we need your help. No one's good at negotiations. I guess we're going to drive in. And we'll use Muzika to do it. 516 complete. Uh, ooh, he broke his neck. The offender's dead. Oh, cool. Oh, so it's more like an RPG now. Nice. Um, we have very few people good at shooting. So I would very much like you to learn this. His incredible... Spurlock looks like a woman to me, but whatever. Interception. Spends his remaining actions and finishes move. Oh, it's like an Overwatch kind of thing. Cool. And the shooter perk. Nice. Uh, oh, strength is good with a baton. Interesting. I like you to get a bit of negotiation. And now you can get a forced surrender. And interrogation. Okay. And it tells me where all the people are. Cool. 551 in progress. An armed robbery. A girl entered the vault. Stolen urn was filled with ashes and is trying to escape. I see, if I right, I can tell what the person has. Um, I want someone fairly smart. Let's send flower pots. Oh, wow, by herself she can handle it. Let's add Belmont, just in case it makes sense to have someone with a taser. I like how much more in-depth the strategy is this time around. Could grab her by the foot. We could insect her on the street. Or try to convince her. Yeah, let's have flower pots negotiate. 551 complete. You're right, we must transform hatred into love. Otherwise, what's there to live for? The girl then surrenders to the police. The urn returns intact to its proper shelf. Nice. You're already amazing at negotiation. Let's let's improve your intelligence, flower pots. I can find out where all the criminals are. Nice. 
It always says he. She's clearly a woman. That should probably be fixed at some point. Uh, let's improve your strength. Battering ram. And the knockout. Ooh, nice. 573 in progress. Police impersonation at the Beltway. So everyone down and demanding money. I want someone else fairly decent at negotiation. I see Rosencrantz and Guildenstern. Oh dear. Let's send Rosencrantz and Birch. That seems reasonable. Go to it. Uh, so I just need to beat 460. I have 680, so that's fine. We don't need a sniper. Ooh, shiny. I know your name is probably supposed to be Shinny, but your name is now Shiny, so deal with it. Let's have Birch order him to surrender. 573 complete. He obeys the cop. It turns out that his deceased mother-in-law, who worked as a cleaner at the police station, helped him get the form. Okay. Uh, always want to max out the intelligence. Because awareness is pretty great. Now let's have you boost negotiation. Freeze, buddy. I could take an offender on the fly and immobilize him for one turn. Cool. The day is over. That was a pretty successful day, except for the one guy that we sort of, sort of killed. Beer can tabs. You get tabs for completing missions and lose them for losing colonels getting civilians killed. I can use it on new cops and extra equipment. Okay. So I gained 11 beer can tabs. Um, I do want a new cop. Let's go ahead and hire Brody. And let's pick up another baton. I think that's reasonable. I've just the cops will work tomorrow's shift. So I can hire up to thir I can have up to thirteen, huh? Mustard for sure. Uh, flower pots. Um, Brody's really strong. Mister Nash, even as a kid, I wasn't so interested in my toy soldiers' weapons as in their uniforms. The quality of the seams, color of the buttons, and the weight of the materials. When I got a little older, I started to design and sew clothes. When I was studying at the academy, I made several prototype police uniforms and decided that I could wear them and search if I ever got a chance. Please get them out of the closet and iron them out nicely. You wouldn't mind, right? Wait. No, I wouldn't mind, or yes, I would? Yes, uh, I guess. I don't know. Um, Let's bring in Birch. Let's get Climsy here. Uh, shiny is pretty amazing. I'm not going to work every day. Eh, you're a little bit of a, a complainer, but you're still really good, so I'm not going to banish you. Uh, Kurosawa. Oh, dear. What the? Come on, guys. Belmont? Okay. Musica. Rosencrantz, and we have to add Guildenstern, of course. That's reasonable. That's nine cops. I'm good with that. End the day. I do want more cops, though, so we can get a more regular rotation. I, uh... Did I miss something? No, no. I just want to move into the office where you were working yesterday. So you, uh... You're moving into a smaller office? I'm moving where I'm more comfortable. That's the office I used to share with Gail. It's... Yeah, it's probably too big for me, but it'll be just right for you. Um, uh, can I help? No, no, I, I don't like people pawing my stuff. You could get a bite to eat. I'll be finished in, like, 20 minutes. I can handle this. At least I can handle this. 
Okay, then I, uh, I'll go down to the dining hall then. Call me if you need me. I like this dynamic between them. I wonder how it's going to turn out. Ah, Mr. Nash. Glad we have a chance to get acquainted again. This time under better circumstances, huh? <laughs> Our first meeting didn't go so smooth. <laughs> you really must forgive me, Mr. Nash, for being so rude to you. It was rude of me to arrest you. <laughs> you gotta admit, you don't really look like an undercover cop. Am I right, guys? <laughs> That's the point, fuckhead. But I didn't hit you too hard. I tried to be... I tried to be delicate with elderly gentlemen. I'm not some kind of monster. <laughs> Let me punch I didn't mean him. To offend anyone. You really shouldn't be offended. We're all grown-ups here. Why be offended? Why are you offended, Mr. Nash? I gotta say, I expect more from a senior police officer. Well, I don't know. More more professionalism, you know? You seem like the kind of guy who sits behind a desk doing paperwork. Am I right, Mr. Nash? That the bathroom? Weren't you gonna drink your coffee, Mr. Nash? You're not incontinent, are you? Mr. Nash, do you have a problem? Is it an age thing, or did I just hit you too hard in the kidneys? If that's the problem, then I apologize, Mr. Nash. I tried. I tried not to hit any vital organs. Good. Punch him a few more times. <laughs> that was brilliant, Jack. Hit him a few more times. Fucking prick. Oh, that was glorious. Mr. Nash had a great trip to Ripton. Thanks for letting me go. The guitar specialist was a real master. Now our axes are roaring like true stadium masters. D Lenny lost his sticks during the trip. Special sticks come from Garensburg Black Oak. Wants to go into the woods. God damn it. So this is today's shift. Let's get people equipped. I'll click continue first. Okay. All right. Um, Brody, you're getting, I'm just going to give you a baton. I don't see any reason to give you anything else. Um, you're already good at shooting. I don't really need to mess with that. Oh, it's a shocker. Okay. I'm going to give that to you. Uh, I'm going to give you a taser and a couple cartridges. I'm going to give you a baton. Climsy gets a baton. We got any other real good shooters to give a taser to? I can give some to Climsy here. What is that? Oh, it's another taser cartridge. All right, everyone else. Oh, you're a really amazing shooter. How did I miss Belmont? Yeah, I'm just gonna give you a baton then and you're gonna get the taser. And then Merzika, you're fine. I guess I can give you a couple grenades. I mean, there's no reason not to give them everything, right? But the problem is that tasers um, are only as good as their cartridges. Oh, let's give you a baton, a couple 
No, I'm not gonna just give you tasers. That's silly. How do we get more cartridges? I need more taser cartridges, I think. I'm gonna let you have a taser with no cartridge and see how that works for you. Everyone's got something. I'm happy. I might try auto assign if it looks like we're having issues. Five twenty in progress. An elderly man wants to take a loan out to kill his wife. For forty years, marriage is nothing but boring. This isn't a real serious thing, but we will still send, let's see, we'll send Johnny Baton and Belmont. Just so we can tase the old man if we think he needs it. I like Brody's hat there and his beard. He's very impressive. He's like Odin Beard from This Is The Police. You're my new favorite, Brody. But don't tell anyone else. Oh, this is all the different abilities he's got. Oh, this is so cool. Cool. His name is Leo. Hi, Leo. Out of the soldiers start melting, like some half-decayed corpse appear. What should we do? Should we dig him out or let them do it? Let's dig him out. We're going to make a special deposit. Here comes just a second. Uh, just restrain him. Use the baton if you need to, Climsy. You're an old dude. You're fine. 520 complete. And we arrested him. Only got a little bit more professional. Nice. Well, let's get him a bit of stealth. Oh, nice. He can move right in front and not even be caught. And a chameleon perk. 538 in progress. All right, shooting. Two loud shots. That could be a fake. Who's my other really good shooter? I have two. Mustard. Might give you some backup in the form of uh, of Musica. That's reasonable. Is there anything else I can do with the personnel? I can send someone to Lily, okay. That's good to know. Yeah, we're gonna be spending all of our beer can tabs that we possibly can. Code I. Okay, we have to open up. I'll need employees with brains to do the investigation. Okay, I wanna see the shooting. Up was a false alarm. Oh well. Okay, who do we got this real smirk? Flowerpots is pretty smart. So is Rosencrantz. We'll send Flowerpots to take care of it. Someone stole a VCR. Oh no! But what year is this supposed to be? I mean, you get a VCR for like 20 bucks. Actually, now they're actually quite expensive because they're hard to find. I do want more cops, though, just so we can try to cycle out ships. Now she pulled the filthy corpse out of the snowdrift, searched his pockets, and they were all empty. We get the boots off. They were pretty stinky. Oh, we might have gotten boots. Oh, boy. I've got some valuables, but nowhere to keep them. Okay. How are leather boots from a dead guy? Like, I don't know. Um, we'll send out Mustard. We'll send Belmont and Guildenstern. That's reasonable, I think. It's a child abduction. We gotta take it seriously, even if it is turned out to be a false alarm. But it's good to know that they're all far that there are false alarms.
He's pushing a baby stroller. Let's pull in front of him so he can't get away, right? And we'll have uh, Belmont do it. So we can tase the mofo. Yes! Tase him! Good! 547 complete. Stunned him. It turned out he wanted to sell the stroller for money to feed his drug habit. He's so strong out there, you know, so there's a kid inside. Nice work, Belmont. Oh, let's make you super awesome at shooting. Oh, I think the thing is, every time you go up to, like, to 100 points, you get a new perk. I think that's how that works. That's cool. 577 in progress. Illegal sales. He's complaining about a disabled man is selling homemade alcohol. We want someone pretty smart. I gotta send Gildan Stern with Rosencrantz. It just seems reasonable, right? It just makes sense. What have you found, Vanessa? The secret of the pink chewing gum. I don't have enough information right now. In the morning, I can instruct any of my subordinates to continue the investigation. Okay. Okay, uh, uh, there's some chewing gum. Left the wires. Just took the VCR. Tommy took it. Greedy kid. Bloody Shirt 4. Was it at home when the plumber came in? Eric was spending too much time in front of the screen. No more strangers in the house. And he thinks it was stolen by... Okay. Well, we'll need more information before we can make any decisions. I think that's fine. Investigation so soon. The cops and Sharpwood aren't as bad as everyone says. I'm not a poor man. Your sense of security is stolen. They'll take your wife by force. Know what I mean? I can't allow this. Have you put your best people on solving the investigation? I'll insert brand new toilets in the, for the cops. That sounds awesome. Done. So dumb. A lot of obsession with toilets in this game. Who wants some old witch's moon sign? Just tell them to close up shot. Go to a Rosencrantz. Five seventy-seven complete. Nice. Good work, guys. Very good work. Now we're gonna have to get more cops though, just so we can make sure to kind of cycle people in and out. Oh, I actually had to wait for him to get home to end the day. Okay. Boom. We got a lot of beer can tabs today. Good. All right, we need more cops. <laughs> oh, damn. Look how good Chapman is. Holy shit. So is Varbit. Uh, we'll get Chow Mickey just as a nice warm body. But I'd like another shocker. I think that's all I'll spend on for now. Okay, who's going to work tomorrow? I need someone real smart for the investigation. We're going to call him Brody. And Climsy. And Shiny. And Kurosawa. And Abramovich. Oh, Aronovich, sorry. I'd like at least seven cops. Sorry, Rosa Crane, you have to go without Gildenstern. I need him to get a day off. Uh, Spurlock. And we'll let the new guy come, too. Sure. Sounds good. End the day. I kind of miss the newspapers. I kind of like that from This Is The Police. A new cutscene. Hello, old man with a beard. Oh, is that me? Mr. Nash, could you come over here for a second? Uh ho oh. We need to talk. Dr. Kanaan just... Hold on! Hold on! One second. Tip, what the hell? 
What are you trying to do? Don't you remember what happened to Vic? You want that thing to explode in your hands. You want to lose your fingers? Put it back right now. Until you get some new cartridges, no one touches the shotguns. We agree. Aw, oh, come on. I'm not going to shoot it. I just wanted to use it to scare old Kleiner. <laughs> God damn it, Tim. Want to see that stubborn idiot shit himself? Yeah, he's probably going around in diapers. You seen that fossil recently? You don't think I am not listening. Just put that thing back. Damn it, Lily. Stop acting like you're everybody's mother. I'll stop playing, mother, when you idiots stop acting like children. Yeah, yeah. Thanks a bundle. You won't be talking like that after I. What's your name, son? Tip Rami, sir. Why do you need a shotgun, Tip Rami? To frighten an old man named Herman Kleinert, sir. He's a local cobbler. The thing is, sir, the old man's grandson, Matthias Kleinert, recently raped a schoolteacher, and now no one knows where he is. I'm sure, sir, I mean everyone is sure, that old Kleinert is hiding his grandson somewhere. We tried talking to him, but it got us nowhere. To be honest, sir, the grumpy old maniac just stood in his door waving his gun, so talking just isn't going to work. Uh, I want to squeeze the old dirtbag, sir. Squeeze him good and get him to talk. Kleinert's gun shoots salt. Salt? That's right, sir. Salt. But what's the difference? I'm not saying he was going to shoot me. I just wanted to scare the old goat, you know? It's not like I'm going to shoot him. <laughs> Probably. When you joined the sheriff's department, they gave you a gun, right? Of course, sir. But who's scared of a tiny little pea shooter? Everybody in Sharpwood has a gun. What else did they give you? I'm sorry, sir? When you entered service, what else did they give you? Uh, I was given... issued a uniform, sir. What else? Uh... a radio? And that's it? Uh... and a knife. This knife? That... that that's correct, sir. Big, huh? I... I... I guess so, sir. What do you think, son? Think you could scare somebody with your big knife? I don't... I don't know, sir. Well, think about it. Here you have a big, shiny piece of cold steel, nice and sharp, and you're holding it right to some bastard's neck. You bring it so close that one careless <laughs> movement and you'll open an artery. But let's say you haven't lived such a clean life. You like to drink, so your hands are a little shaky. They shake all the time. If not today, then maybe tomorrow you'll slice someone open by accident. You think that's scary enough, son? Yes, yeah, yes, sir. It's very scary, <laughs> sir. Well, then what do you need a shotgun for, son? I... I'll put it back, sir. I'll put it back right now. Well, what are you waiting for? <laughs> I have work to do. Can I go? Yes, I just wanted to... Come to my office in the evening, before you go home, okay? Okay. I like Lily. Jack is cool, too. I'm always gonna like Jack. I've got a soft spot for him. Chel Mickey didn't even show up. What the shit? Huge oak tree, Lenny, give him drumsticks, he had an attack, he has to sit with Lenny. Tomorrow to god damn it. Alright, I'm gonna give you one shot. If you don't show up tomorrow, your ass is going to Lily. Let's auto assign, just to see how it does stuff. I think this is reasonable, sure. I don't have really enough different equipment to... Okay, I can send them to look for additional information. I'll look for new... Okay. Uh, I'm going to have Rosencrantz, the smart dude... Let's see, you can look for clues, look for frames, or look for frames. Is anyone else here really smart? Like two, two bars or above? Now, this is going to leave us a bit shorthanded, but I'd kind of like to get this taken care of. I think the plumber probably did it, so let's have him focus on the plumber. I really like this new system for doing investigations. It seems a lot more interactive than just hoping things will happen. Code I. 551 in progress. Oh, God damn it. 
Uh, we'll send Spurlock. Attempted robbery. Armed gunman. The guard. It was only a toy gun. I will send body alone. I think he can probably handle it. Because I need to keep cops back as a reserve. Unfortunately, I did not anticipate people not showing up. We just need more bodies at this point. Wait, not those kind of bodies. Shit. I'm pretty sick here. Don't think I can make a torch. I'm calling for another emergency. I need to pick up some things from the laundry. My friend who's on shift right now... I can't. We're short half... We're, we're short-handed, Chell Mickey. I'm sorry if you don't like me because of that. But there's not much I can do. Let's just... Let's ram the bicycle. This might actually kill him. I didn't think of that. Whoops. Didn't think it through. Oh, let's get him some speed, actually. Ooh, nice. Yeah, I kind of saw that coming, but I had a f my should have shot into the air. Five thirty in progress. Five eleven in progress. All right, let's do the hit and run first. Let's send shiny. Oh, I've got to send all of them. Oh, damn it! No, if I send shiny and Kura and Clumsy, they can do it. When body gets back, we'll cover this one. Oh, god damn it. So you don't get along with him, and I can't send just you. Shit. Well, we just failed the assault. And there's nothing I can do about that. No one can suspect escaped. Uh, oh, you're pretty good at stealth. Shiny, go sneak up on the sedan. That's a bad idea. You won't do it. I think Clumsy will do it. Complete. Up was a teenage girl. Yeah, we need many, many more cops on each ship. I think a minimum of ten. Five twenty in progress. Public indecency. Taking a shit on his car. Oh dear. Kurosawa, go take care of it. You won't go without backup. Well, no, Clumsy won't work. Oh no, it's a body that won't work with you. I'll send you in shiny. I hope it's so I hope there's something in the interface which tells me who won't work with who. That would be extremely helpful to know right now. I can see why some people don't like this as the police too. That's a frustrating part of the game. Five if you're not gonna make it clear who does what. Start harassing a young history teacher. Oh come on, really? God damn it, body. Ah, uh, shoot into the air, Clumsy. 520 complete. God damn it, we killed him. Maybe improve your shooting, because we, we need more shooters right now. Yeah, we're purposely waiting until someone else comes back. Okay. Will literally body go with nobody else? Oh no, he'll go with Rosencrantz. Okay. So you found new frames. For the plumber. It's the owner with a wrench.
Is there any re evidence that someone got hit with a... Talked a little bit more. He fixed the sink all right. Okay, we know it's the schoolboy. Because there's no evidence he got hit with the wrench. We would have known that. And there's chewing gum, which all seems to suggest it was for the kid. So we're going to focus entirely on the schoolboy tomorrow. I bet more clues give you more things up top. Cool. Okay. The mystery of the black box. Uh, not with brute force. Black lid from the stolen box. Stenographer. So it's either a man in a hoodie or someone's brother. We obviously don't have nearly enough information to make any kind of decision on that. Uh, ooh, does someone have a shocker? You do. Get him, Rosencrantz. 540 complete. Oh! When he recovered, he immediately... Oh, wow, Rosencrantz. Dick move. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, nice. That's a really useful perk. Oh, shocking the guy in the junk. That was that was hardcore, Rosencrantz. Let's end the day. I couldn't have helped that. We need more cops. Like, a lot of them. <clears throat> oh, we'll go ahead and grab a lighty, actually. Done. I right, Rosencrantz gets a day off. We're going to grab mustard and flower pots. And birch. Shiny won't... Well, you won't work every day, okay. Muzika. Hmm. New Guy Lady. Belmont. Chell Mickey. And Guildenstern. I'd say I do want 10 cops on both shifts, so we'll see what happens. So, you want to talk? Yeah, I, um, well, before, before I, well, thanks for helping me this morning with Chip. Sometimes he just, anyway, there's something I wanted to talk to you about. It's very serious. I mean it, it's serious. As far as I understand yesterday, you had some kind of, some kind of altercation with Charlie Fletcher. Dr. Canaan called me and... Well, Fletcher's going to be okay in a couple of days. It was nothing serious, but I don't want this happening again, all right? I can't promise you that. I... I don't understand. I said that I can't promise you that nothing like that'll happen again. Listen, Jack, I don't like Fletcher either. It's but... not Fletcher. I will treat my subordinates as I see fit. That's what I mean. But, Jack... There are boundaries. I, as the sheriff, I draw those boundaries, okay? I respect your experience. I do, and I... I just want to say there are rules that must be respected, and I believe that these rules are an integral part. A part. You know, I believe we understood each other, and there won't be any more problems, right? Hmm. <laughs> Why am I here? I'm sorry? Why am I here? Well, because I, I, 
Because I asked you to come and talk, and I... No, no, not here in your office, but in general. Here. What am I doing here? Why am I here, Lily? Because you... Because you got into a difficult situation, and now... I'm helping you steer the department. Look, I could run. I might go to jail, but I'm here. Why am I here, Lily? We could call it a mutually beneficial deal because... Why, Lily? It's a simple question, and the answer is also simple. Why am I here? Jack, I don't know what you... Yeah, it's strange, isn't it? Some bearded old man with fake documents strikes up a conversation with you, and suddenly he's... Jack, please, you know how much this... Becoming the sheriff's right hand. Actually doing all the work of the sheriff. How does that happen, Lily? Come on, tell me. Jack, I'm begging you. The answer is already in your head. I just want you to say it, Lily. Say it out loud. Why am I here? I'm begging you. Say it. Just... Why am I here? Because I'm a shit cop, right? I'm a shit cop. I can't do anything. Shit cop, shit cop, shit cop. Without you here to help, it would be the end. You wanted me to say that. Is that what you wanted? Are you satisfied now? I'm very satisfied, Lily. Jesus, Jack. There's a very weird dynamic going on here, and I'm not sure if I like it or not. But I guess we have to give it a, a proper chance, right? November 25th. Lenny is much better. I'm going to rehearse today. I can't feel my fingers. Wish me luck. Okay. There's our shift. Let's auto-assign. He doesn't seem to, to make a lot of sense right now. To just spend a lot of time just dicking around. Okay. Let's get flower pots working. Oh, is there anyone who just has intelligence and nothing else? <laughs> Alright, Birch. I want you to focus on the kid. As for you, let's get some more clues. Anyone who's just kind of good in intelligence. Muzika, just find clues. I'm a freelance photographer for the Sharpwood Police, as well as a part-time sniper. I'll tell you straight out, I like being a sniper much more than photographing some bastards at weddings and children's performances. Miss Reed says that I will now work in your team. I'm glad to finally be home. Bought some lenses. He wants to shoot some people. Okay, so we have a sniper now. I commune with the spirits so I can see invisible things and hear soundless things. She sounds like a crank. But it's only 400 bucks, so let's give it a shot. The one with the two-faced heart. Fuck is that supposed to mean? Five eighteen in progress. Okay, elder woman lost her temper. Go to a new guy. What is your first name, Lighty? Ernest. Okay. Five thirty-four in progress. Child abuse. Ew. A mustard take new guy Chell Mickey. Uh, remind her she's not the only person in the bank. We won't use four. She's an old lady. I'll ask the cashier. Let's try to solve this. 518 complete. Up she escaped. God damn it. Lady, come on, dude. I don't want to go after her by force, but I don't want to hurt her. She's an old lady. Oh well. There's going to be a next time. 
515 in progress. A carjacking. Let's send Flower Pots and Belmont. Let's send Guildenstern. Let's try to get him tooled up. I'm gonna have mustard column. Yeah, he's just a boy. Five thirty-four complete. Hooray! Everyone was saved. Oh, uh, just block the road. Five fifteen complete. God damn it! It got away, and one of my cops was injured. Shit on toast. I should have shot out the tires. Injured cops go to the hospital. If a cop dies in the hospital, I get a free replacement. Okay. I'm sorry, flower pots. You'll be in the hospital for two days. Okay. Five thirty-six in progress. Animal abuse. Being mean to a dog and threatening it with a stick. Go, lighty. Car full tactical operation. Okay. And I can deal with it up until the end of the day. Okay, then we'll wait. Five fifty one in progress. He was just being mean. Okay. Well Four spirits are bursting to his house. They want to steal my soul. No, I'm just going to ignore that. You found new clues. People are always after something. A guy came in with a hoodie and a wooden stake. Anyone could come in. The rooms all inside are locked. Clyde Billups. Okay, we're definitely going to need more slides, so there's no rush on that one. I think it was definitely the schoolboy that took it, right. Okay, he goes to the toilet. He could have fit my whole scooter. Well, he didn't actually take the scooter. He sneaks out. Grabs the VCR. Oh no, sorry. Yeah, that actually has to come afterward, because he doesn't go to the toilet till after they're watching the movie. Indict him! Oh, this is at night, so yeah, let's go ahead and send uh, Mustard. Go make the arrest. Oh, um, oh, that's right, yeah, we're just ignoring that. Yep. Oh, crap, I couldn't go to the robbery? Why not? I thought I could wait till the end of the day. Ooh, nice, he got better. Let's improve his intelligence. Uh, did I just fail? Oh man, if I failed a tactical mission, that was not made very clear. I thought I could do it at the end of the day. Maybe I can do it tomorrow, actually. We'll see what happens. 
arrested one criminal, and two escaped, cop injured, and we failed a tactics mission. God damn it. That was not fair. I'm sorry, that was not remotely fair. To just say, oh, you can do it by the end of the day, and then not make it clear that if you don't do it by the end of the day, you fail it. I'm a little salty about that. I'm a little salty. Okay, tomorrow. Rosencrant, everyone that was at home is going to come in tomorrow. I also need, can I get Mustard to come back in? I can, good. Let's bring Lighty back. There we go, nine cops tomorrow. Damn, we failed our first tactics mission. I think maybe that's a good time to end the episode, even though it's not my favorite thing to do. But I know what to do next time. I'm just a little bit salty that they didn't tell me that you would fail. I thought it would, like, warn me or say, hey, you should probably get some cops. So, mm. until next time, though, this is a bit of Indian. Thank you for watching. Let me know how you're enjoying the series so far. And until next time, I bid you good day.